Hey, what's up guys? It is Rob from Movie Review Time, and I'm back with another horror collection video. Basically where I take a horror movie series or a horror franchise and talk about every single movie in that series and show you guys all the additions that I own in my collection. So, right now we are going to tackle the Texas Chainsaw Massacre series. And we are going to start with the 1974 classic, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre by Toby Hooper. This is the limited edition Blu-ray steelbook that I got from Best Buy. If you want to see more on this, definitely check out my review of the steelbook on my channel. But uh, I own three versions of the first film. Really cool steelbook. Had to pick it up on Blu-ray. So That is the first one. Here is the 40th Anniversary Collector's Edition, which I also got at Best Buy. Where it's like he's standing in the doorway. Hits the dude over the head, drags him, and then shuts the door really quick. Pretty awesome. Four feature commentaries, Collector's Edition bonus disc, with a ton of features. DarkSkyFilms.com Really, really awesome on Blu-ray. So that's the second edition and here we have the Pioneer Special Edition DVD which is kind of hard to come by. Um, but uh, it says for five young friends a typical summer afternoon drive becomes a terrifying nightmare. I love that cover there. This movie is one of the best horror films ever made, hands down. It's my favorite out of the whole Texas Chainsaw Massacre series, for sure. It's got special features there. Pioneer. So. There's the first movie, three editions of it. Here we have The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, Dennis Hopper by MGM. This is the gruesome edition. <laughs> I like the chainsaw and body parts laying there. Widescreen edition, it says. There's Leatherface there, a silhouette of him. It's got some special features. Audio commentaries, cutting room floor, Dennis Hopper. <laughs> God. Oh man. Also directed by Toby Hooper. 1986 I believe. Underrated film, for sure. And that's the true sequel to the first movie. Here we have Leatherface, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. So now we have The Texas Chainsaw Massacre in the subtitle. This one's called Leatherface. Which they already did with the newer film. This has the R-rated and unrated versions. The Saw is family. He puts the teeth in terror. I think this movie is underrated as well. Just like the second movie, like I said, like this is the true sequel to the first one. Um, and it's underrated, and this movie is definitely underrated. I think this one is definitely worth watching and owning in your collection. The thing is, like, this is definitely better than the fourth movie. For sure. I mean, I prefer the second film over this one, but it's still good for a sequel. Jeff Bird directed this movie. It's got a bunch of special features. Um, Ken Forey's in it, Tom Hudson, Viggo Mortensen, uh, Joe Unger, William Butler, Kate Hodge. So... That is 
Leatherface, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. Then we get to Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Next Generation, Renee Zellweger, Matthew McConaughey. Here's the thing about this movie, it's, <clears throat> some people call it a guilty pleasure. I just think it's, it's just fun for a laugh, because Matthew McConaughey is psycho. He is a complete nutcase in this movie, and it's, you can tell he's having fun with it. It's not to be taken seriously, that's for sure. Leatherface crosses divine with Hannibal Lecter. Hmm. <laughs> Matthew McConaughey is the highlight of the film. I mean, that's for sure. Special features there. Um, it says Robert Jacks played Leatherface. This movie. Definitely not a good film overall. Um, like I said, it's just good for a laugh. If you want to be entertained in that way. It's the fourth film. Here we have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre New Line Platinum Series, the remake. And I love this movie. I love it. I love the characters. Uh, you know, like Jessica Biel, um, Arlie Army. He was, he was my favorite addition to the series. Arlie Army as the sheriff. I loved him. He was, he was great. Jonathan Tucker, uh, Eric Balfour, who's been in other films with um, Jessica Biel as well. Um, the, one of the guys that was in this, I don't remember his name, but he was in the ruins. He, the, one of the kids, uh, the one that has the glasses, the one that's standing right there next to Jessica Biel, he played the main character in the ruins, which is another underrated horror film. I really like that one. This was really good. I like the family. I like the, the look of the whole movie, the music of the movie. Um, you know, by, by Platinum Dunes, of course, you got Andrew Form, Brad Fuller, Michael Bay, who produced this stuff. Um, but they did a really good job. And, you know, Steve Jablonski, he always does the music for this, this company, for Michael Bay movies, even like Transformer movies. Steve Jablonski does the music, and he's a very good, um, you know, he's a very good... Um, I don't want to say uh, composer. So, awesome movie. Here we have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the beginning, New Line Platinum series. This is unrated, too shocking for theaters. A lot of people don't care for this movie. I don't think it's as bad as people say. Um, I think the story is kind of weak, but I do like how they show how Arlie Ermey becomes the sheriff, certain things with the family that they do. I do like that. Um, <clears throat> but there's like this whole biker thing that goes on and then the main kids are drafted into the war and like they, you know, they run into Arlie Ermey and then they, you know, Leatherface shows up and I do like some of the kills. But you kind of knew that everyone was going to die in this movie. Jordana Brewster's in this, uh, you know, from the um, Fast and the Furious franchise. She was also in The Faculty. The only thing more shocking than how it ended is how it all began. It definitely, like I said, has some cool moments with the chainsaw. Um... They kind of went over the top with it, and that, that, I mean, that was fine. I, I didn't, you know, it didn't bother me. Um, it was also produced, you know, by Brad Fuller, Michael Bay, all those guys. Even says Toby Hooper was one of the producers as well. Jonathan Leavesman directed this one. It's definitely not as good 
as some of the other films. But I don't think this is as bad as people say. You know, people say this is really bad. Um, to be honest, you know, I'd rather watch this one than watch this one. So, that's just my opinion. But anyway, the beginning. Then we get to Texas Chainsaw, or Texas Chainsaw 3D, however you want to say it. This movie didn't make no sense. It, it Whoever directed this didn't know how to tell time. I mean, he they didn't know how to do math. Because in this movie, it's supposed to be a direct sequel to this film. I mean, minutes. This starts minutes after Sally escapes, right? And all of a sudden, there's all these people in the house... And, like, this whole family, and there's, like, a shootout that happens. I mean, it makes no sense. It makes no sense. I'm sorry. And then, you know, this guy's, how many years later, this guy's walking around with a smartphone. And, it, it, like, it doesn't... This movie had a lot of problems. Bill, you know, Bill Mosley's in this, which was fine. I mean, I didn't, I didn't mind Bill Mosley. Um, I forgot who played Leatherface. I think Dan Yeager played Leatherface. I can say he did a good job. He wanted to mimic Gunnar Hansen's movements and stuff like that, and I think he did really good. Um, but that being said nothing makes sense in this movie it just it doesn't do your thing cuz it's freaking lame it's just lame the characters were lame Alexander Daddario I mean all she does good is wearing a um, you know uh, a shirt that goes down to her belly button you know shows her stomach off it's like she's the next Megan Fox it's like she has to look really really hot and 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 she did but that's all she had going for her You know, I bought this movie blindly. I, I bought it just, you know, I never saw it in the theater or anything like that. I just bought it because I'm a fan of the series and I just wanted to, you know, have it in my collection. But when I watched it, I'm like, what the hell did I do? But anyway, if you like this film, that's fine. That's your opinion. I don't like it. Last, we have... Leatherface, another origin story. Origin story of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It says the best Texas Chainsaw film since the original. Uh, no. I don't think so. Forgot about this movie. Okay. I even like this one better. This one's even better. I mean... This movie had some cool parts, but they give away who Leatherface is in the cover. In the movie, you think it's this big fat kid. I mean, it doesn't turn out to be him. But they give it away that it's not him in the cover. Right here. I don't like in the beginning, like, they, like he has a birthday party and they give him a chainsaw. It's like, come on. It's like, why do you have to... Why does he have to be bred into the chainsaw? Okay, just because Leatherface likes to use the chainsaw, let's not throw it in everyone's face. You know, it's like, you know, it's not like uh, Jason Voorhees, like when he was a kid, you know, oh, here's a machete. Get used to it because when you get older and you start, you know, killing people, you'll need it. This is dumb. I don't know. I just... <clears throat> See, there's the big guy right there. This guy right here, you're made to think that that's Leatherface and stuff. But this movie just... Huh. Lily Taylor, she was fine. I actually like her as an actress. Um, Stephen Dorff, I liked him. He was okay. But I just, I didn't care for any of the other characters. I, honestly, I didn't even care for Leatherface himself. I didn't care for him. Um... You know, they're in that mental hospital, they escape, and then they're they're running away. Um, the sheriff's looking for them, and 
they're with like three other inmates and stuff like that. It just it it gets it's kind of stupid. I'm I'm just saying like it just I don't know. There were some parts that were cool. I will admit like the the effects were fine. I think they were fine. I I didn't think there was anything wrong with them. I wouldn't say this movie is as bad as uh, you know, this one. Um, I would actually say that I like this a little bit better than this. But I'd rather probably watch this movie more than this. I don't know how what that's saying, but I don't know. I just I th I don't think this movie was really that good. But like I said, if you like it, that's fine. No problem. So, um, anyway guys, I uh, just thought I'd show you the Texas Chainsaw Massacre films. Uh, I have them, you know, I have a bunch of editions on DVD, Blu-ray, uh, you know, anniversary editions, things like that. So, what do you guys think of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre series? I mean, you know, the movies, I don't know, the movies are different. I mean, the movies are different from, like, let's say the first movie, because the first movie doesn't show hardly any blood or gore. But as you get into like the remakes um, and some of the sequels, like they start doing that. They start showing more stuff. And that, I think that's why the first movie really did it right. Because they didn't have to show all that stuff. They didn't have to show all of it. Um, I think that's why it was so effective. But, anyway guys, uh, thank you for watching this. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back with more horror collection videos. And I um, hope you enjoy these. I, I really like doing these and I have a bunch of series that I'm going to go over with you guys. And um, some of them I actually still need to get movies for. But, um, yeah, stay tuned for more of these. Let me know in the comments what you think of these films and I'm going to be doing a worst to best ranking of all the films so stay tuned for that. Uh, this is Rob signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one.